Installing and tuning your DJI Ronin thumb controller. Opening the box. Open the box. Take out the thumb controller. Quick release accessory mount. External receiver. Four pin cable. Adhesive tape. The external receiver is only included in the thumb controller package for the Ronin and the micro USB cable. Press and hold the power button to switch the thumb controller on. The indicator status shows whether or not the thumb controller is connected to the receiver and its status. The OLED display shows the gimbal status and the thumb controller menu. The pressure sensitive thumbstick is used to navigate the menu and control the pan, tilt, or roll of the gimbal. Press and hold the power button to switch the thumb controller off. Installing the thumb controller for the Ronin. First, attach the quick release accessory mount to the top handlebar and then tighten the screw. Ignore the step down adapter because you will not need it for the Ronin. Clip the thumb controller into the quick release accessory mount and ensure that it is secure. Installing the external receiver. Stick adhesive tape to the back of the receiver. Use the 4-pin cable to connect the CAN1 or CAN2 port on the receiver. Stick and secure the receiver to the Ronin. Plug the other end of the 4-pin cable into the CAN port of the Ronin. Please make sure the firmware is updated to the latest version before installation. Binding the thumb controller to the Ronin. Turn on the Ronin. Press the bind button once. The LED indicator will blink green rapidly. For the Ronin, the bind button is on the external receiver. For the Ronin M, the bind button is on the gimbal itself. Turn on the thumb controller. If the LED indicator on the receiver and the LED indicator on the thumb controller both glow solid green, this means that they have been successfully connected. The binding process only needs to be performed once and does not need to be repeated after you have turned off either device. Only repeat this process if you need to connect a new controller. Installing the thumb controller for Ronin M. First, attach the step down adapter to the top handle of the Ronin. Then, attach the quick release accessory mount to the step down adapter and tighten the screw. Clip the thumb controller into the quick release accessory mount and ensure that it is secure. Binding the thumb controller to the Ronin M. Turn on the Ronin M. Press the bind button on the Ronin M once. Turn on the thumb controller. If the LED indicator on the receiver and the LED indicator on the thumb controller both glow solid green, this means that they have been successfully connected. Getting familiar with the thumb controller main menu using the Ronin M as an example. By default, the up and down input on the thumbstick controls the tilt axis movement of the gimbal. And the left and right input on the thumbstick controls the pan axis movement of the gimbal. Press the center of the pressure sensitive thumbstick and hold it to enter the menu. You can select mode for the gimbal under the menu tab. And then select follow speed for the gimbal. If you want to set the up and down input on the thumbstick to control the roll axis movement of the gimbal, you can enter menu, channel, and then mapping, then select roll. Now, the up and down input on the thumbstick can control the roll axis movement of the gimbal. Enter the shortcut menu and select on. You can select the smooth track mode and quickly change follow speed by double tapping on the thumbstick at the home screen. Double tap down to enable auto center. The gimbal should automatically move to the center after you release the thumbstick. Double tap up to switch follow speeds. Double tap right to turn smooth track off.
double tap left to turn Smooth Track on. Select the calibration tab, Cali System. This should be used if there is any perceptible drift on any axis. Selecting Auto Tune will automatically adjust each motor's stiffness setting to achieve an optimal balance. Do not touch or move the gimbal during this process. Run the DJI Ronin Assistant app. After the thumb controller is connected with the Ronin, run the DJI Ronin Assistant app. Select the Maximum Speed tab to set the speed for each axis controlled by the thumb controller. Select the Settings tab to set the controller priority for the remote controller and thumb controller. If both devices are trying to simultaneously give the gimbal a command, it will listen to the one that is set as priority by the app. For example, the remote controller will take priority when it is trying to move the gimbal counterclockwise, even if the thumb controller is trying to move the gimbal clockwise. Thank you for watching.